Hello everyone. Welcome back to the Spring Boot GraphQL series. So in the previous one, we have discussed about creating the JPA entities, right? We created the JPA entities. We discussed about the GraphQL types. We discussed the schema, GraphQL schema. How can we map it with the JPA entity? We created a method, okay, in the service class to get all the movies from the database. And we also created a handler in the controller class where we use the annotation query mapping to fetch the data. Uh, as you can see from our database, we currently don't have any data here, right? We don't have any data. So that's why we were getting the expected result as empty, empty list, right? So if, okay, first let me run the server. If we run a server, everything is working fine, as you can see. So you can see everything is completely fine. And if we go to the URL, so localhost 8080, right? And this is the path GraphQL. So here we will, we will just have our path. So what we need is get our movies handler and simply we can fire everything so when we were firing the query we were getting an empty list because there is no data in the database right so today our task is to put the data in the database so for that we will be discussing a new type of way to do that and that is mutations so mutation is a way through which we will implement the methods to add the data so it looks something like this and as you can see here uh, if you see here most graphql descriptions of graphql focus on data fetching because graphql is a query language uh, okay but any complete data platform needs to uh, needs a way to modify server side data as well so modification of data using whether you are adding a new data whether you are uh, updating the data or deleting the data all this comes under the category of mutation so we will see how that can be done let's get back to it let's close it for now stop our server first now in the service class we need to create a method which will help us to add our movie object to the database right but in GraphQL, we just can't map uh, the this class, this JP entity class and use it to give the input. What I mean is, if you go back to the documentation, here you will see that an input object type, a special kind of object type that can be passed in as an argument. Okay. Now, we know that whenever we uh, create, suppose we are creating a method like movie, add movie, and we need to pass a movie object, right? This is a movie object and what we simply do is we do movie repository dot save method which we pass movie object to it and it simply saves it right that's a very simple example that we were using in our uh, restful apis also we do that but there we use the data transfer object classes dto classes if you remember right if you have been if you have ever developed the restful apis you would be knowing it here the schema in the graphql schema you can see that the movie is of type here the type we are given so the type keyword defines whichever uh, schema which is of the uh, which has which is prefixed with type okay that cannot be used as a argument and you know that here we have to give a movie object as an argument if we want to save the movie so therefore we need another class we need to create which will map to the movie class and which we can use it. So we will use in the models package, we will create another Java class. In fact, we will create a record. So we will create a movie input. Now in this movie input, we will take all the fields of the movie, which is required. Now this ID is auto generated, so we don't need it. Rest all fields are required. So we need to take all these fields. Okay. And simply we will paste here we need to just uh, remove all these things just put commas in front of it first let's put comma remove this annotations let me indent it okay well so we have got all these uh, we have created a record movie input here we will be taking all the data that is required for the movie object and we will be mapping it in this here so basically we are going to take a movie input and similarly a movie input i will name the variable as this now we cannot directly save the movie input because the movie repository if we go to this movie repository it takes an entity of type movie so there that is one problem but 
there is a very simple solution for this what we can do is we can create a new movie object okay and in the constructor we can pass all the movie objects okay so you can say movie input dot title comma movie input dot director then movie input dot studio movie input dot release here and movie input dot movie cast right now we don't have this uh, constructor we don't have a constructor of the signature in our movie entity so we will create one intellij idea will give you a suggestion to create so we can take the help of it create a constructor here so we have got our constructor we will just change the name of this uh, release here and this as movie cast all now we have to do is this dot title equal to title this dot director equal to director this dot studio equal to studio this dot release here equal to release here and this dot movie cast equal to movie cast okay so this much you have to do that's it now once you do this we have got the movie object now we can save and return the movie object so movie repository dot save and we save the movie object that's it and it will return a movie object after saving whatever the movie object is saved there so we have created a method in service class now let's move to our movie controller in here we have to create a method which will return a movie to us after saving whatever movie is saved in the database that object will be returned to us so we will say add movie handler add movie handler we will take a input of type movie input and we will simply return movie service dot add movie and we'll pass movie input as the parameter now here we have taken the movie input here in the parameter but two things we need to define first we need to define the mapping so since it is a type of mutation so there is a annotation known as mutation mapping right so this is done but how graphql will know that this is the argument that you have to take while building the restful api we used to annotate this type of argument with the request body at the rate request body here in graphql we have another type of annotation which is known as at argument so that's the difference similar to the type query we have another type known as type mutation mutation uh, the way we have created this as just by taking the method name so we will just copy the method name paste it here now here for this method we don't have to pass any argument so that was fine but here we have to pass an argument what type of argument do we have to pass of type movie input so now we need to uh, map this record also with the schema we need to create here so to create here we will not use the keyword type rather than we will use a keyword input as we have just seen in the documentation also so it will be movie input what fields it will have it will have all the fields except id as similar to the movie type okay so this is a lot same and in the argument we will pass movie input uh, the variable name is comes first and the type comes next and this method will return a movie so th this method was returning a list of movie this will return just a movie one movie object okay so that's our mutation type also done so let's recap we have created a method in movie service class which takes movie input as an argument here movie input is a record which is used to take the data from the user and then we are mapping the data that is data that is present in the movie input to the movie object and then we are saving it to the database and whatever object is saved in the database is returned back to us and this handler is just calling the movie service method to add the movie we are using a mutation mapping so to tell graphql that we are doing some modification in data we are adding updating or deleting we are doing something which is related to mutation mapping okay and we are passing an argument of type movie input and we have in the schema dot graphqls we have mapped the movie input to the input type and we have created another type in, known as uh, mutation in which we have defined the mutation what it takes is an argument of type movie input and it returns a type of movie so this is the whole process that we have to follow or this is the standard way of inserting the data into the database using graphql okay all we are good to go so let's run the application now as you can see that our application is up and running so now let's go to the here let's re refresh the page and uh, we can't have two queries 
in the same graphql editor so we have to comment it out also if you don't comment it out it will give you error so we have to write here mutation because it is we have we have to give a mutation type right and then we have to pass the method so method name is add movie handler it will auto suggest you now we have to pass a movie input type so we will pass movie input we'll give a colon and then we'll have another curly braces and here we have to pass all the uh, all our input and outside this uh, outside this parenthesis we have to again use a curly braces which in where we will define the return type now in return what we want to return so let's start with id we want to return title we don't want to return director then studio then release here and then movie cast okay now let's come to this cult, uh, braces where we have to pass the argument okay so first argument we will pass is title give colon and since it is of type string so give it double quotes so let's name the movie as avengers avenger endgame okay let's name director as russo brothers uh, let's expand this bit and let's go down the line then we have a studio which we have marvel studios then we'll give release year it is 2019 and finally we have to pass the movie cast movie cast is of the type uh, of array of string so first write this brackets and then in that you have to pass i'll just pass there are a lot of casting so don't get offended if all not are there we'll i'll just pass two of them two major people so two or three maybe and we'll have chris simmons most important one josh brolin as thanos right and passing it three you can pass any number of people you want okay so that's fine that's no okay so this is all we have passed our data title director studio release your movie cast and what's remaining is id so that will be auto generated so now if we fire our query you can see we have got the data this is added in the database now if we go to our database and if i refresh here then we see, you can see we have got id as one director russo brothers and all the data we have got basically in the movie cast also if we refresh it we will get for all the cast of the movie will be mapped to the movie id to which it is associated right uh, we can add one more let's add one more so in india right now the one of the big releases are is gather 2 so let's include it directed by Anil Sharma. The studio name is Z, release year 2023. Let's change the cast to Sunny Deo, Amisha Patel. Okay, so this is the second data that we want. Now, suppose you don't want ID, maybe you just want a uh, title, director, maybe not no studio, no release year, only movie cast. Okay, these three fields only you want. So if you fire the query, you'll get that much. Again, we can see that we fire the query. We have got the cast associated with the movie object and we will get the movie object also. So we have seen how to add the data into it. Fine. Uh, similarly, we can do for update and delete, which we will see in the next video. So you can try uh, the update and delete will be similar to it. The extra part will be to first check whether the movie exists or not and then perform the updation or deletion. So you can try it on yourself if you want. I would strongly recommend it. Otherwise, in the next video, we will be seeing how to update and delete it. And we will also see another method where we will use a, 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 another get method to get one movie object that you can also try out. So that's it all for this video. If you have liked this video, like the explanation, then you can subscribe to the channel, like the click on the like button and sh share it with other like-minded peoples and give the comments below. Thank you everyone. Bye-bye.